I say girlfriend because I'm going through this right now. But this video is for every friend, lover, mother, and brother who has someone they care about and they just can't stand to watch them suffer any longer. Can't stand to watch another yard sale or torn ACL or boot slip in the parking lot or another relative settling for mediocrity in a life of boredom on skis when they could be ripping it up on a snowboard. So today we're going to talk about snowboard inception and how to get your girlfriend to switch to snowboarding. And first, look, I know this is a dangerous idea. Stay with me. Take an hour of your time and that's too much to I mean, look at these comments. Teaching your girlfriend how to snowboard is how my boss ended a relationship. I taught my ex how to snowboard. We don't talk anymore. I would teach my wife how to snowboard, but then I wouldn't have a wife anymore. Instructions unclear. Girlfriend is now hanging off the lift chair by boot. Quick answer, don't. And lastly, you skip the step on where to find a girlfriend. But with great risk comes great reward. Before we get started, throw it in the comments for the people watching. Have you taught your girlfriend or boyfriend, husband or wife, son or daughter how to snowboard and how did it go? What tips do you have for other people watching on how to successfully teach someone without destroying the relationship? Okay, let's get into it. Step one, snowboard inception. Ever try to convince someone to do something they don't wanna do? It doesn't work. You have to make her think it's her idea to snowboard. So get it out of your head that you just convince her. If it's your idea, they'll only get mad at you when they're freezing cold, stuck crawling down a mountain with a bruised tailbone, wondering why they would ever risk catching their edge even one more time. No, we have to plant the idea in her mind so subtly that she doesn't even realize where it came from. We have to use snowboard inception. Here's where we start. Try to get her on a board, a skateboard, a wakeboard, a surfboard, any kind of board, the easier, the better. Now compliment her on being a natural, no matter how good or bad she is. In fact, the worse she is, the more praise you need to give her. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> no, I haven't. You're natural. Wow, really? You're like the best oh I've gosh, ever this seen. This is really fun. Step two, subtly undermine her confidence in skiers. Hey, Chuck. Yeah, the guy at the bar is a total asshole. Isn't he a skier? What does that have to do with anything? Step three, link her favorite pop icons to snowboarding. Hey babe, did you know that Bieber snowboards? Oh. I mean, it doesn't even need to be a pop icon. Really anyone or anything she likes. She will like snowboarding by association. Yeah, that guy was super cool last night. I really liked him. That guy loves the snowboard, doesn't he? Step four, get her to invite herself on a snowboard trip. Babe, babe. Yeah? Have you seen these onsens in Japan? These things are insane. Oh my gosh. Aren't you going on a guy's snowboarding trip next soon? Yeah. You, you know, I could probably ask him if you'd come along if you want. Really? Make sure it's cool with the bros or that there are other significant others going or just go on a trip with the two of you and then sell it hard. At this point, she should be saying, I don't even remember if you told me I should snowboard or if it was my idea. Step five, take her snowboarding. Try to get her out on a soft day. You don't want one bad fall on the ice ending a lifetime of snowboard trips together. Seriously, I know people who have taken a fall and said never again. At this point, she's out on the mountain, she made it up the lift, and she might even be standing up. You succeeded, you're doing it. You got her out on a snowboard. The only problem is, she sucks. But don't give up yet. You've got to get her through the three days of pain so she can break through and finally have fun. Day one, teach her to strap in, to push at the base of the mountain, get off the lift, and falling leaf. Day two, revisit falling leaf, teach her sea turns, and maybe even get off the bunny hill. Day three, let's link some S turns the whole way down the mountain. Now, depending on their natural talent, you might have a girl who's linking S turns on her fifth run, or it could take to the fifth day. Every person is different and I've seen it all. Step six, the inevitable crying breakdown. You've got her out there linking turns, but the edge catches start coming faster and faster. At this point, most people are going to enter purgatory. They may even want to give up entirely. 
You're gonna feel like it's all over. Like you gave it a shot and it's time to throw in the towel. After all, she's crying on the floor. She just got catapulted by the pommel lift for the fifth time. Let go! Let go! She's threatening to divorce you if she takes one more hip check on the icy blue you just went down. But don't be tempted to give in. This is the dip. And if you can make it through, there awaits a glorious world on the other side. A world greater than you can imagine. A world free from lugging around her skis and poles and clunking through the parking lot with those boots. Where you don't have to chase after one more dropped pole from the lift. Where you can bond over the thrill of carving deep turns instead of watching pizza and french fries all day. Reinforce her decision and keep going. Day four is the pep talk. Your only goal is to keep her spirits up. Ply her with hot chocolate, plan a romantic dinner on the mountain, or show her videos of cute kids snowboarding. Let her shoot clips of you in the park from the yurt up top while she talks on the phone with her friends. Day five after the reset is the relearning. It might feel like you're starting over from scratch. She used to be able to S-turn, now she'll only falling leaf. Don't let it discourage you, she'll learn faster this time. Day six, it's time to flow. By now she's got her confidence back, She's getting off the lift on her own. She's even linking non-stop S-turns the whole way down the mountain. You're in the clear. Step seven, bring her on your next shred trip. Fall in love, travel the world. Step eight, realize you've made a huge mistake. Okay, babe, I'm gonna go ride pal with the boys. I thought you were gonna go ride with me. Step nine. Reevaluate your entire life and wonder how you got here. Step 10. Buy her a subscription to Shred School so you don't have to teach her yourself. All right, you can tell this can be challenging. I know because I've done it, not just with my girlfriend, but with my siblings, my friends, coworkers, and more. We've figured out how to teach beginners step by step, so what used to take weeks is condensed down into half of a day. Instead of getting in a fight and screaming over whether or not she actually leaned into the turn, you'll be trading tips in the lodge while she learns on her own on the bunny hill. Instead of freezing your face off, taking an hour and a half to get down the mountain waiting for her, you'll be shredding the park with the boys while she teaches her friends to snowboard and actually has fun because you're not frustrated with her all day long. You can get your loved one shredding in no time and go on to conquer the world with your feet strapped to a piece of wood sliding down a mountain, a pastime only humans would indulge in. And best of all, you can do the world a favor by passing it forward, just like whoever got you into snowboarding did, and make the world a better place. If you can prevent even one more yard sale, ski boot slip, or twisted knee, you've done your job. Throw in the comments, have you taught your girlfriend or boyfriend, husband or wife, son or daughter how to snowboard and how did it go? What tips do you have for the other people watching on how to successfully teach someone without destroying the relationship? And don't forget to comment and give this a like for the algorithm so we can keep making more awesome videos. That's all for today. Peace out, Shredder.